On several occasions, members of the public and law enforcers have found themselves in a difficult situation, with civilians asking why they are being arrested, which question at times is not answered by the law enforcers. But this is blamed on laws governing the country that are written in English language, yet the largest population is not able to read and understand. Basing her argument on her clients, city lawyer Shifra Rukwago says most people do not understand English, hence committing crime out of ignorance. Unfortunately, even some law enforcers, especially the police, do not understand these laws thus harassing people during arrest. Upon arrest, it remains the sole responsibility of lawyers to interpret clause by clause in a language that the suspects understand. You can really explain some words to the client, but still the client doesn't understand what you've really told him or her. And following the increase in crime rates in the country, some members of the public WBS talked to admitted ignorance of the law. I don't know anything about the law if I'm not sensitized. According to the Chairman Judicial Service Commission, Justice James Ogola, ignorance of the law has frustrated the judicial system as more time is spent on explaining the meanings of the different laws. It's against this backdrop that the judicial system pushed for the translation of different laws in different languages to enable Ugandans to understand laws to reduce own crime rate. When we interact with these people at their level, we do so in English, and we know that we need translations and interpretations. And so the need has been long-standing. So far, laws have been translated in five major languages, including Luganda, Nyakitara, Luo, Ateso, and Akrimajong. And the response to the Judicial Service Commission has been positive. We shall deliver on the education of the public right from the grassroots. We don't know which districts these books were taken to because even if you ask the people of Kampala who are nearer to these books, I don't think there is any of them who has such a copy. Human rights activists have as well attributed the increasing right abuses and violations on lack of clear knowledge of the law by authorities who have no respect for criminals. Apparently, the Uganda Judicial Service Commission is trying to catch up with other East African member states that have for centuries had their laws translated in local languages for the public to understand. Shamim Batalwo, WBS News, Kampala.